Magandang hapon po ulit sa lahat. At according to our program, kung manotice niyo po dyan, um, malapit na pong magtapos yung ikatatlo po nating pagtitipon-tipon for Philippine uh, National Missions Congress. So, ang theme po natin, ang pinaka-theme po natin this year is, alam niyo na, hand in hand uh, for global missions through the church. Kaya nga, ang text po natin dyan is Ephesians. Because it's very specific po ang declaration ng Panginoon, the Lord will fulfill the Great Commission through the church. Amen po ba? Agree ba tayo dyan? Alam nga naman gamitin pa niya yung YMCA. Ano pa yung organizations dyan? Alam gamitin naman yung Lions Club or other for its club. Pero the Bible declares na ang pamamaraan ng Panginoon in order na maabot ang iba't ibang lahi sa buong daigdig is through the church. You mean ba ba? So, the manifold wisdom of God will be made known in the spiritual realm and even dito po sa physical realm and all over the world, it is through the church. Kaya po mga kapatid, uh, gusto po nating ipaalala, of course, ang tama ba yan? E, hindi ko na lang po kasi wala nang oras, wala nang panahon tayo, but uh, uh, gusto ko lang pong ibigay po itong mga pamamaraan. Kaya as we will go back to our different places, please remember this, ang pinaka-objective po naman po ng ating pagtitipon this year's hand in hand together for global missions because we are the church and we want to become a missional church. Amen? Hindi ata kayo agree. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng missional church? Na ang bawat believer of the Lord Jesus Christ, ang laman ng kanyang puso't isipan ay talaga po yung utos ng Panginoon. We engage. Ano man ang ginagawa po natin, nandun po yung ating ninanais that we would like always to see that the vision of God, what is God's vision? He does not want even one will perish. Amen ba? That is God's vision. Ayaw niya ni isa man, ayaw na po, ay mapapahamak. Kaya He sends the church. At marami pong mga instances sa scripture na pinadala niya ang church. Without the church going, ayawan ko lang po kung naligtas po ang pamilya, di ba? Nang iba-ibang mga taong na naghahanap sa Panginoon. But, for the last time, we want to become healthy uh, missional church. Uh, we will prepare, prepare the church by actively becoming an Acts 1A church. Ito po yung panalangin po namin. As a result, sana po sa tatlong araw na ating pagtitipon-tipon, sana po ang bawat nandito ngayon representing the kingdom of God becoming an Acts 1A church with a plan toward doing cross-cultural ministry in all four levels challenged by the scripture. Pangalawa po, equip the church to raise up missionaries. Iba-iba po ang mga speakers, iba-ibang mga lecturers. Talaga po pong pinapanalangin po natin sila and they come, dumating po sila in response to our invitation. For what purpose? So that they will equip us all here. Nakakalungkot lang nga, yung iba hindi natapos. But our objective is what? Ito po yung mga missions-minded people all over Philippines. And in fact, we have 200, I think 225 registered, official, 225 registered delegates. Palagpagan po natin. But remember, those 225 delegates, kung ma-equip po sila to raise up missionaries, saan ba tayo kukuha ng mga missionaries? Sa church. Amen? Sa simbahan po, Ephesians 4, 11 and 12, equipping all members for the work of the church. And then establish a decision-making group that will develop thorough knowledge of the mission's plan. Ito po yung ginawa po natin ngayon. Kaya tinuruan ito ni Dr. Tim Lee. Di ba? Nang iba't ibang mga pamamaraan at ibang mga speakers po dito. How to plan, mission's plan, process to provide oversight, and advise those managing the day-to-day operations and outline po sa ating mga ginagawa. Send the right people. We don't want to send missionaries na hindi niya alam kung anong gagawin niya sa field. Kaya po kami, since nagsimula po ang gawain, ang dami ko pong pinagtatanungan, humihingi po ako ng advisor, baguhan lang po kami in this aspect. 
uh, we want to develop a sending mission agency of the Southern Baptist College, but we do not know how ang dami po talaga namin pinagdaanan. Ako po hindi nahiya na magtanong-tanong sa may mga experience in order for us to learn. But, but why? Because we want to send the right people. Amen? Gusto nating magpadala ng missionary na tama ang pagtawag ng Panginoon sa kanya. So from the start, we want to develop a system to raise support uh, for missionaries. Kaya po, part po ng ating ano po, small group discussion, fundraising, si Dr. Saure. And part sa kanyang message is peso. Kasi hindi pwede na magpapadala when we send missionaries, it involves money. You mean ba? It involves money through the church. Oh, through the church. Kaya nag-uusap-usap kanina, informal ni Dr. Sauri kanina. And of course, nag-uusap, nang pupunta po kami dito, sinundo ko po si Dr. Tim Lee sa Clark. At sumapain na po kami ng sasakyan papunta. Habang nag-travel kami, dumating po kami sa convention office, dyan po sa may Quezon City, nung kami nang pag-uusap. Sabi niya, ang Korea law before ay parang tayo, kanya-kanya. Ang Southern Baptist sa Korea, kanya-kanya. Ang simbahan na mayaman, they would just send their missionaries. And overall, Baptist, uh, Southern Baptist doon sa Korea, sabi ni Dr. Tim Lee, uh, overall, mga 800,000 lang sila. But from that 800,000, kalat, kalat kalat din daw po sila. Kanya-kanya. And then, they established that missions training center. Tawag nila Foreign Mission Board kung sa Korea. Baptist as a Convention, Foreign Mission Board ng Baptist Churches in Korea. Overall, ang church membership nila is 800,000. But from that 800,000 churches, they were able to support and send missionaries, 750 missionaries. Saka may mga target area lang sila, Europe, Middle East, meron siyang specific kung saan sila nagpapadala ng mga missionaries. Ibig kong sabihin, kung 800,000 plus lang po sila, and then they unite together the resources, they were able to send 750 tayo ngayon. Ilan na ba ang napadala po natin? Ang inisip ko nga, sabi nga ni Dr. Saure, o oh, Jimmy, ganun si Dr. Magsalita eh. Ilan na ba ang mga Southern Baptists sa buong Pilipinas? Ilan nga ba talaga tayo? Hindi ko alam. Mindanao, Luzon, Visayas, how many churches in Mindanao? Sir, how many churches? One, six, one, five. Ang actual churches? Two thousand? Two thousand five hundred. O, sabi ng presidente ng konvensyon ng Mindanao, two thousand five hundred churches in Mindanao. Ilang sa Luzon? Five hundred. Isali mo yung, hindi ba na membro ng konvensyon pero Southern Baptist? Six hundred. Ilang sa Visayas? May eighty. So, ipagsabihin mo lang 2,500 o 2,600. Eh, 3,000. Kung 2,500 na kayo doon, plus mayroon tayong 500 sa Luzon. May 3,000 churches. Sabihin mo lang 50 ang average member. Ilan po tayong lahat sa buong Pilipinas ng Southern Bap? Million? Ba, kakunti naman yan. 350? Halimbawa, mayroon po tayong 3,000 churches. Tapos, ah, kung mag-50 per average, o oh, halimbawa, so aabot tayo more than million nga eh. So, ah, o oh, one five, o oh, ganun ka kalaki. Mga kapatid, kung talagang ma-pull out lang sana natin yung ating mga resources, sabi ko nga eh, we want uh, to develop a system to raise support for missionaries. Kaya ipagkatiwala ko na po yan sa ating Federation, sir, sa inyo po ipagkatiwala yan, the Federation of Convention of Southern Baptists because we are the missions arms of the federations. Hopefully, kaya nga from there, gusto natin makadevelop from this conference po natin na sana makadevelop yan ng support for our missionaries and develop a close link between the field missionaries and the members of the local church, establish structure for missions operations, appropriate Kaya nandito po ang role of PBTS, di ba? Appropriate uh, theological training. Part of this, important dito. Kaya may SPBTS, there is PBTS, and other partners. Mga practical trainings. We have Nehemiah, we have what? Ano ngayon? Aurora College of Intercultural Studies. Tama ba yun? 
We have CMI for Muslim and others. So we would like to establish a system of encouragement for missionary care. Nasimula na po natin yun, etc. So all over, this is the overall purpose of our gathering. We want everyone here when we go back from our different places. Sana dala-dala po natin ang lahat ng atin po natutunan. I would like to thank you for responding to our invitation. At it, it serves an uh, encouragement sa amin that we will go on. Tuloy-tuloy po kami. At alam nyo naman po, pag nag-prepare, pero your prayer and your presence, enough for us to say, well, let's keep on until we see the reality of our vision that we will send the right missionaries and we will impact the world. Kasama sa pag-impact sa world is what? Southern Baptist. Amen? Dapat maramdaman po ang presensya ng Southern Baptist churches in the Philippines in the mission field. Magandang gabi po and God bless us. So, ano sa natin gawin? Siyempre, <laughs> kakain na tayo. Pero mamaya na, no? after, i-observe naman natin yung tamang oras. So, after, we will go back sa tamang oras kasi may highlight tayo mamaya. Kasama kayo sa pinaka-importanting event ngayong gabi. It's just to honor our missionaries. Sino mag honor po? Bigyan natin sila ng halaga. We will inspire them as they will go back to their mission field. Tayo po yon Kaya, mamaya, please be excited. Panalangin nyo, how could you encourage them? Di ba? Babalik sila. Dito, masaya sila. Relax, relax na sila. Nakalabas sila kunti. But, babalik sila. Nandun na naman yung stress level. Tataas na naman. How will you think? Kaano po? kayo makakatulong sa God. How can we encourage them? So, it's done. Tumayo po tayong lahat. Panginoon, pinupuri po namin kayo today. Uh, thank you for the break-up sessions. Thank you, Lord, for those lecturers, people you have sent. Thank you for this group who remain until this evening. We do pray that you will bless the food. Uh, so we will pray Uh, prepare ourselves, O oh God, sa gawain mamayang gabi. Patuloy kayong kumilos sa aming kalagitnaan. And, uh, Panginoon, I just want you to touch everyone. Ang bawat isa sa amin, really, what grabs your vision. We will be a missional church. Hindi lamang po, Panginoon, but sabi nga ng isang speaker, Panginoon, we will become a world Christian. Thank you, Lord. Glorify your name. Amen.